So what's up YouTube? I'm Ryan. I'm Rachel. And if you can see, Sarah's in the back seat. Hopefully napping. Hopefully sleeping, but not quite yet. Um, but today we're going to Ole Bowl State Park in Potter County, Pennsylvania. Um, and then we're testing some GoPro stuff. Um, we just got a GoPro, so we'll see if this works. Hopefully you can even see us. Okay hey folks, we're extremely excited because we've just reached the freeway. We've been following a line of cars going like 40 mile an hour for the past 38 minutes. And so we're just really, really happy. We're really happy to get on, on the open road. Um, and hopefully it'll only take us like two and a half hours from here um, to get to our site. Sarah's obviously not taking a nap. She's, she's really wide awake. Well, I apologize for the shaky camera. We're just going over some bridge expansion. But yeah, uh, we'll um, hopefully once we get gas here in Lock Haven, um, we're gonna stick the GoPro outside and um, film some of the Susquehanna River Valley. It's extremely scenic, scenic drive, and hopefully it's still light enough we can get some good, good footage for you up there. Um, so we'll talk to you soon. So we've got the GoPro rolling outside. Um, we're headed out of Lock Haven into the Susquehanna River Valley towards Renova. Um, and back in Lock Haven, we filled up with gas. We got some extra gas in a five gallon can because um, when we're headed to remote places, we think it's a good idea to carry some extra fuel with us, um, especially since this truck uses premium, which is sometimes harder to find. Um, so we should be on site at Ole Bowl I would say about an hour from now, at 6.30, so we're hoping, hoping to get there before dark and get set up before dark, and then we're going to go to a restaurant and get some food, um, and hopefully the kitchen's still open by the time we get there, so um, we've hit a lot of delays today, um, which I guess is typical of trying to tow a trailer, um, and I made some wrong turns even though I've done this trip yeah, probably 30 or 40 times, I still made a wrong turn, so it's just been kind of a rough day, but I think we're almost there. Um, we'll get set up and we'll talk to you then. So we got her all filled up, and there's the truck, and this is the campground. And we're breaking all kinds of rules today. 
we're showing up late um, it's almost dark out we're here I think our site is directly ahead somewhere um, 26 or 28 I believe um, so we're gonna go over there get level and see if we can get a fire going and roast some hot dogs and I'm just kind of relaxed the spring peepers are out in full force today This one here? Yep. So 28. We got a brand new picnic table for us. Perfect. It looks good. Um, and if so, if I need to, I can go right over there to wash dishes in case we... Okay, so basically I want to just back right up to that post right there, I think. Have our uh, driver's side basically even with the host just like barely away from it. So do you want me to go stand on the you stand on this side stay right there daddy's gonna back up over there Uh, wait, will you stop for a minute? Yeah. So, um, it kind of drops off the gravel pad back here. If you, I think you should probably maybe come look. Or just go that way, just a teeny little bit. Can you see me? Yeah. Just come straight back, I think. I'd stop there for now. Are hot dogs your favorite? Yeah. It's yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, everybody, so this is our site here, 28 at Ole Bull State Park. Um, it's crazy windy, and the creek is about a foot and a half too high to fish. So today, I think we're just going to go on a hike um, up the mountain. But uh, this site is just electric, um, so we were able to fill up with water when we came in. And uh, we're going to eat lunch here, and then we're going to go on a hike. Okay. Well, that's going to get us to the top. Alright friends, we are at the top of the Ole Bull Castle Vista. And just look at these mountains. This is why we love Potter County right here. So for those of you on YouTube, there's no cell phone service up here. And so all I've got is some screenshots of Google Maps trying to guide us to where we're trying to go. Um, but we're doing a little bit of a dirt road, forest road, off the beaten path adventure. And we're hoping to take you guys to Heinerview State Park, um, which is near Renova. Um, but we're just taking a backcountry way to get there, maybe see some wildlife. Um, and I think it, it's a little more direct going this way, if, if nothing else.
Do you see that cabin down there? Yeah. Yeah? Isn't it neat? Right by the river there. Friends, how cool would it be to have a cabin right down on that stream right there? Can you see it? This has turned into a really cool drive. We still don't know if we're on the right road, but... No. <laughs> but uh, sounds like Sarah's over it. So we're gonna get going. They're very pretty flowers. You can pick one. Yeah. I'll hold your sticks. You pick one flower, only one. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pick the yellow one, or the other yellow one, or the purple one. Okay, but only one, so pick your favorite. I will pick the two and two and the two one. Here. There's two. You pick one. We have to leave them for someone else to find too. So you pick one flower. All right. Let's... All right. So fishing was a bust, um, but since we're over here, uh, we thought we would take you up to Heiner Heiner View State Park. Um, it's a pretty pretty nice view up on top of a mountain up here and actually I don't think I've ever been to it while the weather was this nice so nor uh, normally when I'm when I've been up there it's been like cloudy and miserable so we ought to be able to see a lot today since it's pretty clear and clear and sunny. Hey, do you want to go up the mountain? Why are you playing in the gravel instead of looking at the view? Are you building a sandcastle in the gravel? Huh. You ready to go back to the camper? Mommy's ready to go back to the camper. So there was a ton of people up here, and of course Sarah has to say hi to every single stranger that she meets. So just not get that for me. So it it took us a while to get out of here because Sarah was talking to everybody and building sandcastles in the gravel. Um, but uh, I did manage to get Rachel out on the cliff for just a few minutes for a picture, so we got that going for us too.
So all in all, it was a successful adventure up the hill. But uh, we're headed back to the camper, and we're just going to kind of chill for the rest of the day. So friends, it's raining pretty steady, but I'm pretty determined to catch a fish and film it on this GoPro for you. Um, so we're going to try fish in a different spot and um, see what we can't come up with uh, this morning. It's Sunday morning, but let's see if we can't catch a fish this morning. And um, Rachel and Sarah stayed back at the camper. They're going to do some reading or something. Hey guys, I got one. I finally freaking caught a fish. Look at this. Now we just got to hope we don't lose them. And hope that the GoPro might actually be filming something here. Man, look at that. Persistence. Pays off. You just got to get in the right spot, I guess. <laughs> well, looky there, we're on the board for 2021 Potter County. So friends, I got a, little bit, got a little lucky there. I actually saw the fish right over there where the tip of my rod is. And I drifted it right there and he hit it once. And I didn't get him. And then the next cast, he hit it again. And now I have a mess. There's a fish. Come on, bub. That looks like a little bigger fish than the last one. He's putting on a show. Come here, bud. Nope. Here, want to. He's gonna spook every other fish in the hole before he comes in. Well, that wasn't very graceful, but we got him. I can't tell if I foul hooked him. I guess so. Uh, decent rainbow, though. I think it is bigger than the last fish. So guys, I will tell you that just because you're catching fish doesn't mean it's an end to the frustrations that come with fly fishing. Um, both of those fish, I had to totally re-rig everything after, after bringing them in. But it's a much more enjoyable frustration when you're getting some results versus yesterday getting frustrated with no results. <laughs> it is a sucker.
That's a big old sucker. There it is. Come on, bring us one home. Not much to it. It's always nice when the hook can come out just like that. Here, let's see if we can get Put this one on camera here a little bit better. It's good to be on the board. Good to be on the board. <sighs> And I guess this rat's nest here confirms that we are done. Sorry guys, I'm like all wet. It is still raining. Um, but I had three trout in the net. Probably six or seven long distance releases. I um, just couldn't quite bring them in. Plus the two suckers that I netted. Um, so, all in all, pretty good fishing experience. Um, and I was only out there for like two hours, so not bad um I was talking to a guy on the stream and um it seems like the stream where I was fishing yesterday young woman's they they haven't stocked it at all this year so any fish that would be in there is just holdovers from last year so I guess that's why I didn't have so much luck there yesterday so maybe we'll try that again later on in the season um but uh this isn't really gonna be a fishing YouTube channel but um you know, in the spring, I do generally do quite a bit of fishing, so um, we're coming up here to Potter County again twice, uh, and so I'm not exactly sure, I haven't decided if I'm going to film that stuff for the channel quite yet, but um, I probably will take the GoPro and maybe do some kind of fishing compilation, uh, but uh, so we're headed back to the campground, and uh, I think we're just going to kind of relax for a little while and um, hopefully it stops raining or slows down raining so we can get some of our stuff packed up and we're gonna go out to Debs and Cross Forks for lunch come back and hitch up and head home so so that's the plan and we'll talk to you probably on the drive home so we're leaving Holy Bull State Park in the rain um, it's not too bad there right now so uh, the weather forecast looks like it should be kind of off and on drive home. But we've towed in the rain before without any kind of issues. As long as it doesn't get too windy, we should be fine coming home. We may show you some stuff on the on the way, or maybe there's not going to be anything interesting on the way, but um, we'll let you know. Okay, so... We're almost home, so we're going to conclude our video here. Um, I think, uh, as a whole, we really liked Holy Bowl State Park. I think that's probably been our favorite Pennsylvania State Park that we've visited so far. So um, It's a nice, small, quiet park. Um, well, especially this time of year. Only one half of it's open year-round. The rest of it opens in like two weeks. Um, but uh, there's a lot to do in the area, and we just barely scratched the surface. So um, if you're looking... To go up there and you want to know what else there is to do up there that we didn't show in the video, comment below and we'll try to help you out. Um, because there is a lot to do up there. Um, I mean, this time of year it's mostly fishing in the area, and, um, but there's a ton of hiking and good food down at Devs and Cross Forks. Um, so it's, it's really just a great place. There's usually a lot of wildlife. We didn't see any. That is talking to the camera. Daddy's talking to the camera. Do you want to say hi to YouTube? Hi. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. All right. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, usually we see elk and bear and um, bald eagles and stuff. Um, and we might see some of that stuff when we go back up there in a couple weeks. Um, 
know, so we'll show you if you do, but um, generally up there that's full of wildlife. So it's just a great place. <laughs> Are you talking to the camera? <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all we've got. Um, and so until next time, we'll see you next memory.